All right, uh, here is another Jenny McDermott video. Oh, my God. Another video of her accusing someone else of trying to fuck her or sexually harassing her or, or whatever. Obviously, Ben. Come on. Everyone does. And, and this has nothing to do with getting views. This is just, you know, she needs to, to tell her story. This is the truth, Ben. It's, you know, and she was just too afraid to come out with it the years ago that it happened. Obviously. You know? Immense pressure. Who was it this time? Actually, uh, do you want to take a guess? Uh, it's someone. It's it's an atheist on YouTube. Okay. That you don't get along with. <laughs> okay. Is it, it R and Ra or something? No, it's not. I don't get along with him. But he has he he has had long hair, but he's also had short hair. Oh. Hmm. If if I tell you anything more, you'll know. He's 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 English too. I'll tell you that. English. Man, I don't know. I've given him so many fucking... I, I bet you someone in the fucking chat room would get it. Is it... <coughs> Coughlin? Yes, it is. Oh, oh, yeah, man. My mind doesn't even go to that guy anymore. Your mind doesn't go anywhere. Your mind goes like whatever is like Your mind goes happening. to yeah. pizza, Taco Bell. Yeah. <laughs> Coughlin kind of tumbled out of my consciousness, but okay. Coughlin did it. Yeah, because it's Coughlin, I, I agree this happened. I will prove to gamers everywhere that I am a creature most worthy of leading their cause. I stand for honesty, integrity, and transparency in my corrupt behavior. Planet of the Follow Apes. me, fellow gamers. Follow me to victory. I am bewildered ape. Wow, okay. guys. Mucho drama lately, am I right? After I guess. Everyone's I don't know. YouTube feminist that beats women. We can hear the fan that you're using to make your hair blow. Just yeah, so you know. So. You might want to put, like, some sort of noise reduction on there. Yeah, and why even do that in the first place what is why why do we need to see your hair blowing what is the fucking magic of it men went into hiding for what we had hoped was forever he recently reared his ugly head on big lundy's channel where he commandeered the whole thing to not address the drama only to talk about it without naming names and explain that myself and bewildered ape are terrible people even though i'm the only people he was waiting for a moment to come back and exact revenge on me for semi-outing him as a girlfriend abuser in a video a while back. Sequester Zone hung on to conversations we had way back during his drama with Extremely Boring and Archduchess, where I said that I thought I was being sexually harassed by Dick Coughlin and now intends to use them against me. Wait, I felt sexually harassed and he's going to use that against me? YouTube content creators are here for various reasons. Cooking, makeup, cars, pushing a political standpoint, etc. Sequester Zone was here to teach us about philosophy. Ape is here to change the discourse. Witch is here to expose misogyny. Kalo is here to create a dialogue with the manosphere. And I'm here for truth. I'm here because people for see truth. what is meant to be normal. <laughs> for truth. What? Yes. When I think Jenny McDermott, I think truth. Yes. It's like you can say what you want about her, but she always stands for the truth. truth. So many lies the American on way. so many lies on YouTube these days, but at least we know we can always turn to Jenny McDermott for the truth. Obviously, pure, unvarnished, unexaggerated, fair, and unbiased fucking truth. She's like the real Fox News, fair and balanced. Normal on television and in the media or in advertisements, and on the surface, they try as best they can to reflect that while underneath being something different entirely. I've seen hundreds of people a day throughout the years in my line of work and worked closely with many and have observed that people portray what they think you want to see and when you get to know them, they have this secretive and crazy alter ego. Everyone does. This is the true part of people, who they really are. For example, we see this happy-go-lucky, totally neutral, armored skeptic character, but underneath he's a married man trying to hook up online and befriending anti-feminists. I think that's, that's been who debunked. he really is. The rest is just aesthetics. I'm no moralist. I don't think that cheating I'm is no evil. Moralist. There are no instances of animals that choose life mates. Maybe a long time ago you heard from a friend that penguins do, but no, they don't. Even our closest primate relatives have not been found to take part in this type of behavior. <clears throat> so why do we? Because we made it up. Marriage was created to drop incest and disease levels. It's clear that with high divorce rates that people can't seem to make Jenny the long term work. Expert even on though marriage. they want to so badly. For most, it's impossible. And evolution, so no, I don't fault biology. people for strain, but I do want truth. Here's the truth about Dick Coughlin. 
A while back, I was in a bit of a ladies knitting circle with JJ Talks and Tainted Liberal where we would basically text all day through Facebook. One day on Facebook, Dick Coughlin, who I'd never spoken to before, began to poke me. He messaged me that he started slow at first and began moving faster and faster to simulate sex. I joked back with him about it that it had been a while since I had a good poking. So, at that point, why didn't you say, uh, sorry, I don't really know you and I feel uncomfortable, or at least say, or at least make a comment. No, she, she made a, even made a joke, like, I haven't had a good poking in a while. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, she was. I mean, if, if you weren't okay with it. She was an impressionable person. Oh, okay. You encourage who the behavior Coughlin at a was an point. experienced internet navigator, and she an was but a fucking dude, victim. An expert pickup artist. Yes. A, a master manipulator. He taught Roosh V everything he knows. Yeah, you know. And, oh, and yeah, Roosh V is one of his disciples. Was, at this time, she was just an innocent girl. That, yeah, like, who? You know, he wants to be my friend, even though he wants sex immediately. I noticed she has bangs covering her forehead this time. <laughs> I have no problem with flirtatious banter or men and women hitting on one another. If I have an yes, issue with the level it reaches, it's on me to state that it's making me uncomfortable. Yes. And if they yeah. continue, then that is harassment. So, why so these we videos? talked about people on YouTube we didn't like. We talked about people we like, editing programs, and his show. Then he said he and was taking a few of my cocaine. Facebook pictures for masturbating. It was at this point that I started nodding off. I had worked a long day and had just gotten back from taking my dog to the beach and was exhausted. So I'm half typing, half sleeping. Then Dick sends me a picture of himself in his underwear. I say he should probably oh, not God. do that. Oh, God. Oh. oh, no, Dick. Why? Well, at least Dick had some underwear on, you know what I mean? Ugh. He didn't want to see that picture. He wanted to see that picture. I wonder if he has any more moles anywhere else. Every, everywhere, Ben. <laughs> Come on, me and TJ have already seen it. Come on. You have? Oh, of course. Yeah. TJ's, TJ's madly in love with Dick. Dick Coughlin raped me once. Oh, my God. While TJ, the Backstreet you... Boys played. He's madly believe... in love with Dick. Coughlin, yeah. that is. I had already mentioned earlier that I was still living with a boyfriend who I had recently broken up with. Then he sends another picture, and I say, seriously, he needs to stop. So he stops. We chit-chat more about YouTube in a friendly way, and then I ask him how often he does stuff like this and what it entails because I'm new to using the internet to communicate with strangers and I'm totally ignorant to this type of thing. He explains how it goes I down, am and we move on. I don't know. I, I call bullshit on that. Yeah, I, I mean, no you're, idea. you look like you're in your... 30s there's no way this was your first time talking to someone on the internet i mean like she was raised amish did you not use aol in the 90s you no, know she was raised amish ben yeah. oh i see that, that's, that's a pretty convenient excuse like oh i'd never dealt with anyone online any capacity like at, at all so that's why i had no idea what was going on. i'm totally innocent naive i mean i guess it's possible but it doesn't seem very likely you're making my penis squeak my squeak. penis squeaked squeak just now Jesuits. Then I mention it in my lady group, and Tainted Liberal, who was in high school at this point, and 18, says that she had a similar experience with Dick, but that with her... <laughs> <laughs> so, so you were talking to someone with the name Taint in their screen name who had a similar experience with Dick. Yes. Okay. Had a similar Dick experience Taint. with Dick. Taint had an ex a similar experience <laughs> with Dick. Taint and Dick were having a, uh, a, a picnic. A picture picnic. Oh. He said that he watched her video while picnic. masturbating to see if he could finish before she finishes the video. So we three discuss this and try to decide what to do. The reason why people wanted to impeach we Clinton for having sex with Monica Lewinsky is because when a person shit. of power attempts to seduce you in the workplace, they are taking advantage of their special position. In a sense, yeah. this is thought to be rape. If a boss flirts yeah, or rape. attempts to seduce no, a lower-ranking employee, this is rape. sexual yeah, harassment. Rape, the woman no, can not. feel as if yep, she's totally game, nonsense. but there is a power dynamic in existence that blurs the line. If your line. boss fucking comes up to you and is like, nice dress, that's rape. No. That is rape. Because there's power dynamics and shit. It's not even rape if they're like, have sex with me or you lose your job. At that no. point, you go to HR. And if HR doesn't do anything, then you call a lawyer. Yeah, when you go to HR, yeah, you sue the company. HR's like, all right, we'll do something about it, but first you gotta suck my dick. <laughs> yeah, sure. Then you go to the police, and the police are like, all right, but you gotta give me a handy if you really want me to investigate this matter. Rules of feminism. These are the rules in a workplace, and myself, Tainted, JJ, AS, and Dick are all paid Taint. by Google. 
So is this not considered a workplace? No. Yep. No. Jason no. This is not a workplace. It's not a workplace. You're all private contractors to Google. And and there's no place. Yeah, there's no yeah, there's no place where we all congregate and like sit around the water cooler right. and like have a boss that we answer there's to. There's no monthly shit. YouTube content creator meeting, you know. No. You're making shit up. Also, if you stop posting content, you stop making any money on YouTube. So it's like maybe you just post it for fun or knowledge or whatever, but you still have to be a participant in it. It's not like you'll just, okay, I'm just going to start keep collecting money or views if I don't post any new content. Is it, 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 We're defending Coughlin right now, aren't we? No. Coughlin, no. Coughlin did it. He's a rapist. <laughs> Coughlin sucks. To make a video in which she discusses her, her the logic is normally flawed, but YouTube, because she saw Coughlin, it's accurate. claim to be feminist. She never reveals her harasser, Abaddon5, out of fear that she will get all of the harassment of his fans. After receiving a ton of online harassment from the fans of Armored Skeptic and Shoe on Head, I felt it was necessary to be honest and prove a point about the way corrupt YouTubers silence the people that they have harassed with their loyal fans. Okay, do you have any evidence? You were not harassed by Armored Skeptic and Shoe on Head. You made a very ac accusatory and inflammatory video towards Armored Skeptic. You provoked Shoe on Head, and then they responded. Yeah, also, I mean, like, even the story you're telling about Coughlin, it really doesn't sound like he did that much wrong. I mean, like, he sent some some risque pics. You said stop. He stopped. Yeah, it wasn't like he was like, no, I'm going to send you as many as I want. Oh, here's my dick again. Look at it. Look this at it. Woman my woman cock in 4K. Forward ...and name her harasser without being dogpiled. You can think I'm evil for doing this, but JJ and I are not friends. I have no loyalty to her and have my own interests in mind, which share the truth and work toward diminishing online harassment. So we decided that what diminishing happened with Dick was harassment. harassment, but before You're anyone part of went public, harassment. I decided to discuss things with him. I told him about the girls and that we were talking about what happened. He said he wanted nothing to do with it and didn't message me again for a few weeks. He made a PM joke about being a harasser to me, and I took that opportunity to discuss things with him. He explained that he thought I was interested, and that he never had said anything of the to Tainted Liberal, and that he would... What? Jump cut. Bad jump cut. I know. She, All of their chat you know, I mean, like, I, bad jump cuts happen and shit. I mean, editing mistakes. Like, my editor was pretty weird. I made this top ten Donald Trump video, and for some reason... It replaced two of the numbers with um, with number one, like number four was number one, and number another one was number one as well. When I went and looked at it in the editor, they were all fine, but for some reason, when it rendered, it fucked up. It gives no but fucks. Then also, times when you're doing jump cuts, like it's easy to like fuck it up, but man, she fucks it up all the time. Me as proof. I believed him, and the you thing was settled editor, Jen, until Jenny. Sequester Zone decided to come back and try like to Premier hold this Pro thing over me. I did feel harassed in the beginning with Dick, but once we talked, I felt better. I still believed I wasn't harassed until Tainted Liberal showed me proof that Dick had really made the masturbating comment. Now I don't know what to do. Dick tagged me in a post on his Facebook about him being accused of harassment where I came to his defense and said that he didn't. I attempted to explain the situation to his fans, but it felt awkward and I felt like I was doing a disservice to Tainted Liberal and to women this everywhere so who have been harassed online this and then so terrified petty. to say anything. And it's basically just wrapped up in this thing of, I want to end online harassment. This is just some petty revenge video, and we can all see that. This is so transparent. That's kind of her shtick at this point. It's so transparent that it's like, I have a chip on my shoulder and I'm always in this drama with all these people and talking shit about these people, but it's because I'm so noble and so good. You know, give me a break. The common denominator in all of this is you. The lowest common denominator is Jenny when it comes down to all these situations. So to all of you watching, let me know what you think. This isn't another outing of did. the dark side of another of YouTuber. That's Coughlin what I think. is someone I genuinely like and admire, and Tainted Liberal has said the same to me. And for Sequester Zone, if you've made it here... Thank you for watching. Feel free to comment. Uh, what? That was horrible. That's her real voice, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Finally, we've her heard... Her true voice. Yep. She, with the help of Brett Keen, she was able to unscramble her voice. Brett Keen, audio engineer extraordinaire. Yes. 